I'm Rob King and welcome to my channel. This is 2024 and I have a master plan. Now it may not be of quite the same caliber of the 99 brews in 99 weeks, but it is a special year. There's lots of special events going on and I wanted to try and time some of my home brews to some of those events. So for example, we have the Olympics, we have the Euros, and then we've got the normal sort of course of events. We've got St. Patrick's Day. We've got, of course, May the Force be with you. So all of these days actually deserve a special brew of some kind. And hence, that is my master plan. Now, in actual fact, at the point I'm recording this video, I am literally just editing January. For January, it was my birthday, and I chose a beer that was something that is very close to my heart. I'm a big fan of the IPA, and so for January, I brewed a double IPA, and it turned out fab, but more on that soon. So my plan for this year is to have around 14 home brews, and they all align to those aforementioned special events. So for January, we have my birthday and the double IPA. For February, it's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to do quite a special strawberry and chocolate mead. And then of course, March comes along and it's St. Patrick's Day. And of course, I love a stout, so I am going to do an Irish stout. Moving on to April, we have St. George's Day. Now, I'm a big fan of the turbo ciders. So for St. George's Day, a strawberry and lime cider. Looking forward to that one. I haven't done very many turbo ciders so far this year. Then of course it's May. May the force be with you. I'm gonna go for a galactic pale ale of some kind. Need to work out the details on that one, but I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Then we get to June and the Euros start. Now the Euros are being held in Germany and I'm a big fan of a Dunkel. Never have I brewed one. That seems a good reason to put that in the June slot. Moving into July then, it's the Olympics. And the Olympics are being held in France, so I'm gonna go for a French Pilsner for that one. Moving into August, it's International Beer Day. So it's dealer's choice. And to be fair, I am a big fan of the Belgian White, and I'm going to try and do a Blue Moon clone. We'll see how that gets on. September comes along, it's time for a holiday, time to relax and I'm going to indulge in one of my favorite beers, a hazy IPA. October then, I'm hoping to squeeze in two for the price of one. It's two special events and two very different beers I'm going to try. First of all, it is, of course, Oktoberfest. And to celebrate Oktoberfest, I want to try and do another German beer. This time, I'm gonna have a go at a Marzen. For Halloween though, and this may be a bit more of a challenge, it's gonna be a pumpkin beer. I don't really know how that one's going to turn out. Let's give it a try. November is firework night, and I have lots of great memories of cold November evenings. So a good winter warmer, time for a English ale to fill that spot. So on to December, and then there are two of my favorite drinks. Back to a turbo cider, I'm going to go and revisit the Christmas Spice Cider. This was fantastic a couple of years ago, and I've never gone back and revisited it. So time to correct that now and revisit the Christmas Spice Cider. And also, I know the last two years, I've done some really nice mulled wines. And actually, I decided to make a couple of tweaks to the recipe for next year when I was doing this year's video. So I've already got my recipe ready and looking forward to giving that a try come December. So this is my 2024 homebrew master plan. I'll be tracking my progress against this Gantt chart and see how we get on. Now I have no idea if I'll hold to it, but this is 14 homebrews in 12 months. And to be fair, one of them's in the bag already. Each of the videos will follow the normal format. It will cover the ingredients. It will cover the brew day or preparation, depending on the type of beer. It will also include the stages of fermentation and any challenges I have along the way. It will include carbonation and bottling or kegging, depending on which I decide to do. And then finally, that evaluation. Of course, alongside each one, I'll include some lessons learned and depending on how things go, potentially some outtakes as well. 
So thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. Happy home brewing. Cheers and wish me luck with my homebrew master plan.